Hey, what's going on, guys? Ravi here from Ira FX along with Mr. Zebo. Welcome, you guys, to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. So, in this video, we'll be learning to add this VHS look to the video along with these VCR lines that you notice from top to bottom in a very simple way using Adobe Premiere Pro. So, without any delay, Let's get started. Alright, so I have a video of a lady here. Let me drag this to the right side panel here so that a sequence is created. So to this video, we'll be adding the VHS look along with the VCR lines that come from top to bottom. So in order to do that, let us first create these VCR lines. So go to the FX panel and simply type wave warp and you have this wave warp effect in the distort folder and drag this onto your video just like this so you have this distortion applied here and simply change this wave type to square and also increase this wave width in such a way that we only have one block here like this we only have one block here and also change the you know wave height to you know something like this so that it gets it is you know quite uneven at this point and now since i have this you know black edges all i can do is go to the pinning tab here and change this to all edges so that all the edges gets pinned and if i start playing this this is how it's gonna look like also i don't want this to move from left to right instead i want it to move from top to bottom so in order to fix that i'll simply change the direction to 180 degrees instead of 90 so now we'll have it from top to bottom and I also want the view speed to be, you know, half the speed now. So I'll change this to 0.5, you know, something like this. I'll, I'll, I'll fix this to, to like 0.3 just so that it looks something like this. So now we are we're done with this VCR line effect. And now we'll add this VHS effect. So the first thing that you'll do is simply type vr chromatic aberration so you have this vr chromatic aberration effect and drag this onto your video so you can see that there is this rgb color leak in this video here you can increase or decrease the values here you know depending on how you want the effect to be applied so I'll tweak these values here just a bit like this okay I'm I'm happy with the results here and the last thing that you can do is simply type noise in the FX panel and drag this noise effect from the noise and grain onto our video just like this and increase the amount of noise to 15 or 20 looks good so if I start playing the video, this is how it's going to look like. So you have this, you know, VCR lines effect along with some VHS effect applied to our video. So I hope you found this video helpful. And if that's the case, give us a thumbs up. And if you'd like to talk with me regarding visual effects and video editing, you can always reach out to me on Instagram at VFXGuyRavi. Mr. Zebo, would you like to add something? Subscribe for more tutorials. Alright, so see you guys next time with another tutorial.